I received this question more than once and I decided that it is worth making a video about this topic. In today's video we will try to find is it possible to knit rip in the round and why it's impossible to knit this ripped head in the round on the pass up. First let's learn something more about ribbing. In knitting, ribbing is a pattern in which vertical stripes of stockinette stitch alternate with vertical stripes of reverse stockinette stitch. Ribbing is notated by number of knit stitches times number of purl stitches. Thus one by one ribbing has one knit stitch followed by one purl stitch followed by one knit stitch and so on. These two types of stripes may be separated by other stripes in which knit and purl stitches alternate vertically, such plissé stripes add width and depth to the ribbing but not more elasticity. The elasticity depends on the number of knit purl transitions, one by one ribbing is more elastic than two by two ribbing, etc. Now that we know this information, can you tell me what knit one purl one mean? This is one by one ribbing, was your guess correct? What about knit two purl two? Knit two purl two is two by two rib. Now I'm knitting a one by one rib on my knitting machine. To knit ribbing you need to use both beds of the machine. If I drop the front bed you will see that the needles on the main bed are knitting and the needles on the back bed are purling. This can be seen better on this sweater. By looking at the front side you can see which needles have been working. When you inspect the other side you will observe that the needles on the front bed where knitting has occurred correspond to the opposite needles on the back bed which have been intentionally left out of work. Now let's identify the requirements for knitting ribbing in the round. I will use these two YouTube videos to support my point. The links to them will be in the description below. This is a circular sock machine. The lower part is called a cylinder and the river with the rest of the needles is attached on top. In other words, the cylinder is the main bed and the river is the second bed of the circular sock machines. The machine can knit ribs in the round because the needles are arranged in a circle. You can see the process in the second video. Now only the needles on the cylinder are used so the machine needs to be over stock in its stitch. Here you can see how the river is attached to the machine. And now you can see how the machine needs ribbing in the round. According to my knowledge the only rib that you can knit in the round on a flatbed knitting machine is the mock rib. You have to transfer the stitches in a one to one division, put all empty needles out of work and send the machine for tubular knitting. This rib won't have the elasticity of the traditional rib, that's why you may double the length then fold it in half and sew it later. I'm demonstrating this type of rib in my toe up socks video so you can check it out by clicking on the info card in the upper right corner. I hope this video was helpful. That's all for today, have a nice day and see you next time!